Think about each part of the IELTS speaking test. We are going to have a brief overview. So in your part one, you are going to have a general questions about yourself and everyday situations. So you have everyday vocabulary that you can use at, at home, at supermarket, at school, and so on. And also you'll be using different tenses, verb tenses that you apply in your daily life. Your part two is going to be about a speak on a topic given by the examiner. So this is a very important part of the test because you'll get to show your ability of speaking English for a longer period of time. You need to introduce your talk. You need to pay attention to question words. And also you should be able to express your personal feelings. And the final part three is going to be about a conversation on abstract topics where you have to do the same to introduce your topic and support your topic with supporting details and make some clarifications if you have to. So this is our brief overview to the IELTS speaking test. And in the following slides, we'll be learning about part one. And now we're going to discuss our part one, which is going to be about everyday vocabulary words. Remember, when you're completing this type of task, it is very important for you to know vocabulary about daily topics that will help you to talk about yourself and everyday situations such as work, study, hometown, favorite food, hobbies, your favorite pets, so things like that. You have to make sure you are familiar with these topics and you know what kind of words to use when you talk about them. Important things to remember here also not giving short answers. So make sure you do not answer with yes, no, I don't know type of responses because at this point your examiner won't be able to see how much how much you can speak in English and how well you can speak English. So make sure you are you know these topics and your response is at least two, three sentences long. And remember it's very important not to memorize your answers. Because sometimes when students memorize the answers, they don't sound natural. So this is a, one of the biggest mistakes. Even though sometimes you make grammatical mistakes, it's totally fine. The most important point when you are completing your part one to be natural and be able to talk about general topics about everyday life. And now we are going to talk about verb tenses and their importance in the speaking test. Remember, you need to pay close attention to the verb tense that the examiner uses. Also, listen for the tense markers in the examiner's question, because this will help you determine in which tense you need to speak. There are some common tense markers we have on the slide, and the first one we see about present tense. When you hear the words now, at this moment, presently, these days, usually, and questions beginning with do and does, that means you need to speak in the present tense. If you hear the following words such as in the past, when you were younger, when you were a child, before, or question beginning with did, that means you need to speak in the past tense. And the next one is the future. And if you have to speak in the future, you need to pay attention to the words such as in the future, in a few years, later, or questions beginning with will, and are you going to. So pay close attention to these tense markers and always listen carefully how the question begins when the examiner speaks. This will help you determine in which tense you need to talk. Here you have part one example prompt. In your part one, your examiner is going to ask you about yourself and the things you like to do daily. So the questions can be about your daily life, such as your hobbies, your favorite subject, about your family, you never know what is going to be on the test, but these are common topics you need to be prepared for. So your examiner, he or she might announce a topic. So for example, he or she might say, let's talk about your hometown or village. And then he or she can ask you follow up questions about town or village. For example, um, they can ask you what kind of place is it? What's the most interesting part of the town or village where you live? What kind of jobs do the people in your town village do? And would you say it's a good place to live and why? So examiner can ask you different questions about two or three topics 
more questions he or she asks you, it means you are not probably talking enough and your responses are short. So make sure when you're answering, you are not having responses with yes or no question like answers. So try not to respond with um, yes, no, I don't know, or maybe. So make sure your responses are complete and you have at least two, three sentences. So that's all we have for the part one. In the prompt, you see it's an actual prompt from the authentic IELTS test. So you need to be prepared to talk about everyday vocabulary, everyday activities, and of course about yourself.